What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mindframe, coming to you live and direct in Vibe City. Let me holla at you, because dribbling in 2K has experienced a few changes over the last couple of years. Some good and some bad. But come 2K19, dribbling must be at its best and it must show improvement. I'm actually expecting it, because this year it took a step back. But what exactly can be done better to dribbling in 2K? Well, check the remedy. Easy. Fluidity. 2K has a knack for adding unnecessary animations to their game that take away from its fun factor, and I mentioned that in my last video in regards to the post game. Link in the description below if you want to check it out in its entirety. But too many animations stacked on top of each other isn't good. Taking away what people love and what people want isn't good. Example, remember this animation from 2K17, the step back? How about the pull up cancel? Those are both now a thing of the past. This year, the step back has been erased from the game, while the pull-up cancel can only be triggered in one direction, backwards. Dribbling is meant to be free-flowing and skill-based, and I felt that in prior years, it was at its best. This year, it's decent at best. But from the people I've talked to since launch that I've been rocking on the game, they hate it. They deal with it, but they hate it. Real quick, there should be a poll popping up in the top right corner right about now. Which year was dribbling in 2K at its best? Click your pick and let me know. But back to the topic. One to one animation should remain and be improved on in the game. Meaning, if I make this one input on my controller during this given situation, this animation should always trigger. But don't get it twisted, defense should be able to impact certain offensive moves and bring about certain situational animations. That's how defense can be respected in 2K. But that's a topic for a different video on a different day. Don't worry, we'll dig into that gem a little bit later. Now, I mentioned this in my 2K18 Prelude Done Better video, that the Prelude should be an online open beta that allows us to create our My Players, take them online to the park, and test out every animation in the game, just like we would at launch. And again, just to be fair, with a level cap. That would entice people to buy the game if it's good. And I'm sticking with that mindset. I think it would be great for gamers to get their hands on the soon to be final product, test it out, break it, and have 2K update it and the prelude to our liking. I mean, give us all the animations just to try them out, just to make sure they're good. And in turn, let us give you the 411. Let the diehard 2K ballers have a voice in this matter. Let everyone have a voice in this matter and watch that daily user login number climb from there. Watch how satisfied the community would be. But there's a problem, man. This it's a serious problem. There's a lack of communication between the dev team and the community to the point where huh, we've all been led to believe VC is more important than gameplay. And now, more than ever, 2K is not the only option for gamers. There's a bunch of games to go out there and try out. I mean, me and my homies have been vibing on God of War on the PS4 and this game is a straight up banger. So if you don't like 2K, don't stress it, man. Just voice your opinion, move on, and enjoy something else. On a side note, I've been loving NBA Live since launch, and that hasn't changed. 2K has got to get their act together, man, and they have to cater to their community before it's too late. Hold up, wait a minute. It, is it too late? <sighs> but yeah, man, seriously, dribble fluidity, improve on current and possible past animations, keep it simple, and make it more skill-based than ever. Having that mindset going into 2K19, looking to cater to the above, could also have a huge impact on the 2K League for the best. So that's really something to think about. But to all of my Vibe City soldiers in the place to be, let me know your take. How can dribbling be made better in your opinion? What animations need to go? What animations need to stay? And what needs to be changed? Voice your opinion in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as we got some more dope 2K content on our channel, baby. But for now, it's your boy Mind Frame Vibe City. Y'all know the deal. Make sure you keep it locked. Also, while you're at it, check out my new 2K19 playlist where we discuss the park done better, attributes VC, the law start of the post game, and then some. Dope stuff. Check it out. I'll see you over there. One love.